Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Segler, a sports medicine podiatrist in San Francisco. You know, stress fractures in the foot are one of the most common overtraining injuries among marathon runners. And of all overuse injuries, a stress fracture in the foot is probably the most likely to force a runner or triathlete to stop training and lose fitness. The reason for this is that stress fractures typically get worse and may even turn into a completely broken bone if not treated. The most common signs that you might have a stress fracture to watch out for are pain in your foot when you're running or swelling or bruising like you see here. Bruising is a really bad sign. When you look at an illustration of the foot, you can see that there are a lot of bones in the foot, but really we only care about the five metatarsal bones that are the most likely to have a stress fracture. When you push on each of these metatarsal bones, you'll want to push on the end of the bone right where the numbers have been placed on these metatarsals in this illustration. If you bend the toes downward, the metatarsal heads, which are the end of the bones, will poke up through the skin and look sort of like marbles on the top of the foot. You can then press on the first metatarsal, the second metatarsal, the third metatarsal, the fourth metatarsal, and the fifth metatarsal. Here we can use a foot model to demonstrate the same motion that we use to check for a stress fracture in the foot. By pressing on the ends of the metatarsal, essentially you're bending the bone downward, and if you have a stress fracture, this will cause a great deal of pain. If you've noticed bruising in the top of the foot as indicated here, and most of the pain feels like it's on the top of the foot, it's more likely that you have a stress fracture of one of the central metatarsals in the middle of the foot. This would be the metatarsals 2, 3, and 4 indicated in this illustration. If you have pain and bruising on the outside of the foot, you might have a fifth metatarsal stress fracture. In order to check for a fifth metatarsal stress fracture, you're going to want to push on several places along that bone on the outside of your foot. With this foot model, you can see pressing on the head of the fifth metatarsal, the shaft, and the base of the bone. It's important to push on that knot of bone on the outside of your foot at the base of the bone, not just the head of the bone out here by the little toe. If you have pain on the outside of the foot there, it could indicate a Jones fracture, which is a particular type of stress fracture that sends a lot of runners to the operating room for surgery. It is unlikely that you will set a new marathon PR in a cast, so it's important to get the right treatment as fast as possible. If you think you might have a stress fracture, make sure you see a podiatrist who specializes in running injuries and who will treat the problem right away. If you choose a doctor who actually runs, you then have the best chances of getting the stress fracture treated and maintaining your fitness level. With early treatment from a running injury expert, you may still be able to run your goal race, just don't put it off too long. See a stress fracture expert today.